A Hilo man has quite the story to tell after his close encounter with needlefish this past weekend. Howard Dushevsky has more. Chad Cabral has spent most of his life on the water. Born and raised in Hilo, he's been paddling since the age of 10, and he's seen it all. Whales, huge fish, tiger sharks, just to name a few. But he wasn't prepared for what he came across this past weekend. It was an a unusual day on the water, to say the least. On Saturday, Cabral was about an hour and a half into his paddle, about two to three miles offshore, and heading back into Hilo Bay, when something leapt out of the depths of the ocean. And lo and behold, a, a group of maybe 30 to 40 of these needlefish um, came jumping towards um, my one-man canoe, and it hit, it started to hit my canoe from behind the canoe to the middle where I was sitting and all the way up to the front of the canoe. And it just sounded like bullets hitting the canoe. And a couple of them actually got stuck in the front of my canoe. Cabral says one of the fish actually punctured a hole in the canoe's hole and it got wedged inside of it. And that ultimately helped him get back to shore. It actually, the canoe took in very little water because the force of the fish that went through the canoe sealed um, the hole that it made. And it was, stuck, it was stuck in the hole. Cabral says he didn't realize the bullet he dodged until he searched the internet later that night. Look at the mouth and the, the beak area of that fish. Okay. Um, it's all serrated. After I, I went online and I, and I Googled um, Hawaiian needlefish or AHA, and I saw some pretty... Um, graphic pictures of people who actually got injured um, by the fish. Like in 2005, when a Mililani man was speared by a needlefish in Kahana Bay, leaving him with 45 stitches. The attack narrowly missed his heart, but it damaged his liver. As for Cabral, he says the experience reminds him just how important it is to respect nature. You're definitely um, in nature right and in an environment where um you're not in control of and you got to respect that and and that day for sure um you get humbled and you you're glad that everybody was safe that i was safe i didn't get injured and i, I made it off the water safe that day and paddling isn't a contact sport but that day it, it sure felt like it was uh howard dashevsky khon2 news working for hawaii